updating the firmware on our ICOM 7610, we need to prepare the SD card first. So get it into your PC and format it. Plug it in, I'm using a large SD card here, 32 GB. Once you plug it in, you'll get this window up here. So you've plugged it in, you might already have the files, but otherwise format it by downloading an SD card formatter. There's many available, but just use one like this. Um, when you type SD card into your PC, just down here in the search, but SD formatter comes up. Yes, and just go, let it find your card. There it is there, that's my card. Right, if you want to see your card again, just click file explorer here and just look for it there it will, it will light up so there it is there now if we format it we're sort of effectively starting from the beginning if you've already got it you don't actually need to do this but i'll show you anyway so after this point you then you do need to put it back into the radio and i'll do a video quickly showing that and then move on to the firmware install and the japan version is working fine on my europe transceiver to get the firmware onto the sd card you just go to this link here at the moment I only have the Japan link but it does work um, of course at your own risk scroll to the bottom of this link I'm using the Europe version radio I'm running version 1.30 at the moment download like so you get this file appear here which says 1.40 data put your SD card into your machine like so. Click your yellow file explorer. There's my machine there and it's come up with 7610. Click the data file and slide it into this file here. And then once it's there, just slide it up one into the yellow file. Now remove the, the SD card and put it into your radio. Firmware 1.40, it's now nearly December 2023. This is the Japan firmware. I'm going to put it into my Europe 7610 E model. SD card is in. We'll go menu, set. Let's look at the version we've got, others, information, tap 1.30, back out. Now we're going to go up to SD card. Go to firmware update, you get the warning, go down, click yes. There's the firmware showing up, 1.40, tap. And then do you want to start updating? You hold your finger on, it's now updating. Sub CPU firmware main CPU doing this live fantastic radio this is actually a brand new model I took it out of the box about one hour ago so there's quite a few updates to this one uh, they do talk about this this new item Just looking it up now DPD, I'm not sure if it's working, but it says here, prior adjustments is required to use the DPD function. So we'll have to learn about that. So it's, uh, it's taken quite a while. Countdown. Now I have seen on Facebook, someone else installed this with no problem. So I had some confidence. It's going to restart automatically. 1.40. There you go. Turn it up. Menu. Set. Others. Info. Ta da. Can't see any obvious difference right now. Not sure where to look for the DPD, but we'll have a quick look and then we'll end the video. Menu, we'll go main, the tracking's on, let's turn that off. Uh, anything obvious there? Set. Aha! DPD. 760 single adjustment. 
I'm going to click no because I don't know what to do there. ICPW2 linked adjustment. There you are. So when we learn what we do with that, then we can have a play. But apparently it's very good. Otherwise, working great. Thanks for watching my channel, m 0 fx YouTube. ICOM 7610 factory reset. Menu. Set. Others. Reset. All reset. Next. Yes. Factory reset and we do have 1.40. And we'll go to 40. And the scope. Working great. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.